Hi everyone, welcome back to Ursus Live. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, I am doing a quick video update on how this last week has gone. I think this is something I'm going to start doing regularly. Um, I have to come up with a catchy name. <laughs> Almost like a weekend review type thing. I was going to do it on Friday and call it Feel Good Fridays, but I think Sunday is probably like the best time to do it because um, generally it's a rest day and um, you're getting prepared for the upcoming week and doing your normal things, getting ready for Monday. So I think Sunday will be my uh, reflection day, if you will. <laughs> I've had a great week. For one thing, I have stuck to my exercise plan all week. No cheats, no skip days, no um, unscheduled rest days. Every day I said I was going to work out, I did. Um, I have stuck to um, my diet pretty much. I uh, would eat like a bear, you know, one meal a day, keto, ridiculously big salad. Um, I've stuck to that, I would say, 85%. I did have a couple of days where I got really hungry, um, I was working out and my salad wasn't as full of things because, and it was my fault, I didn't feel like chopping up extra stuff and doing more things so my salad was kind of uh, lean and so um, I ended up having like um, maybe a tablespoon of peanut butter or something late in the day or I had like some string cheese so I still kept it keto. But I um, did have a snack, I think twice, twice over this last week. But it was a small snack. And like I said, it was um, on days that I had worked out and I just don't think I had consumed enough uh, energy um, for that day. But other than that, it's been great. And I'm gonna tell you one thing that has helped me. I have started using my planner. Now, just the act of writing things down has made me more diligent and mindful of what needs to get done and this is one that I bought at the beginning of the year and I said I was going to use it every day and I can tell you that all of these pages here are unused but starting last week I began using it and crossing things off scheduling things even appointments and meetings and it just kept me mindful of what I said I was going to do so that has really helped me be more productive so I can honestly say this has probably been one of the most productive weeks I've had. And also, I've stuck most, more closely to my diet because I'm more mindful of it. Uh, I am exercising because I'm more mindful of it. And I'm getting other things done like meditation or reading or if I'm not reading, then listening to motivational things um, for what I want to do. Now, a lot of things I didn't get done but at least it was on my mind to do it. And so my goal is to improve this week. And that is something that I'm learning to do. Progress over perfection. Because um, I do tend to be an all or nothing person. And that doesn't work in life, right? Um, a lot of things we have to grow and develop, gradually improve. So I'm learning that. And one thing that I'm doing as far as keeping myself on track is I have another, this is an old planner from 2020 to 2021. One of those, um, I think August to July type things. Anyway, it's out of date, but it still has the days on it. So what I'm doing is this only is used to track my workout and eating. That's all that goes in here. And I'm just using the days, like, you know, September 5th, whatever. So I'm gonna put down like, did I work out today? Yes, I did. What did I do? I'll put what I did. And then my eating, did I stay on plan? What did I eat? I had a ridiculously big salad today. Um, and if I eat anything else today, I'll put it down. I also track what I drink, not how much, cause I'm not gonna measure things, but I'll put that I drink water or Gatorade Zero unsweet tea, iced coffee with no cream or with cream, like whatever I drank that day, you know, sugar-free lemonade, those type of things, uh, it helps me. And it's something about, even though it's just me, but it's something about knowing that this book is waiting on me to write and record what I need to put down. Um, it keeps me accountable. So this has really helped me. And I've been doing this 
uh, for the last 17 days and it's been very, very helpful. So for you, it may be grab a notebook and a pencil of paper and start, you know, day one and put today's date and just write down what you did, you know, if, what you, if you said you were gonna do something, not everything, like the one main thing. And right now, my one main thing is my health. Like I, to lose weight, get to a healthy, normal body weight, improve my fitness level, because I don't want to just lose weight, even though I do want to lose weight, I am losing weight, but I also want to be strong. I want to feel physically strong. I want to be fit. And so this is really good helping me track. Also, I began writing like how I feel, like on the days when I went back and ate more, like how did I feel, why did I do that? Or days that I wanted to and I didn't. How did I feel about that, you know? Um, and I can say it felt good to say, I wanted to do this and I resisted it, or I did, or I not resist. I don't like the word resist because then it seems like I'm fighting against something. No, I made the choice, it's my choice. Like, it's my choice. You know, there's, the food police aren't gonna come knock on my door and come get me and, you know, take me away. So, um, it's not a battle, it's a choice. And that puts me in a different perspective. And so I chose when to have a snack and then I chose when not to. And on those, day, those days, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna make me a cup of iced coffee with um, you know no cream or anything like that and just have it and enjoy it or I'll make a cup of um, a warm chicken broth and just drink that and it gives me that soothing satisfying feeling without the calories without the food and those are all choices so uh, my goal is better choices so those are some things that are helping me stay on track and a lifesaver came today y'all these came today these are knee pads okay from Google. Google. anyway i ordered these from amazon i will put a link below for these they arrived today mid-workout my husband opens the door tosses it in the door i grab it rip it open put them on immediately pause the workout put these bad boys on because my knees were hurting those floor exercises were hurting a girl's knees okay i have a lot going on these knees are supporting a lot they're doing a lot of work and so i said you know what it's been two weeks and my knees are tore up so i saw these on amazon i had great reviews it's got a big nice pad on there it's like a gel pad and they strap around your leg, see? They strap around top and bottom, so there's no tugging, trying to get it up over your leg, and those things always roll down. And um, honestly, I have some of those that are for support on my knee, because I, my knee was injured once. Um, but they still don't have pads, so I can still use that for support all of my knee, but these are specifically knee pads. And when I was on my knees today doing leg lifts and all type of things, it was night and day. My knees felt wonderful and they don't hurt now. I'm rubbing them now while I'm recording this and they, they're not sore. Oh my God. If you need support on your knees, get you some of these. I wish I would have had these two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Anyway. Those are a lifesaver. And then I realized when I was making my video showing how to make the salad, that I showed what I, um, the containers that I use, all of my prep food were in green boxes. And so I wanted to just take a moment to share more about the green box because I've been using these for well over a year now. And they are lifesavers. This is the largest one, the big square one I have that you saw. It had the lettuce in it. And then there was one called a bread box, which is long. That may have been the one, I'm not sure. But I put lettuce in both of them. So um, whatever they're made of, it sucks out whatever gas that fruits and vegetables give off that makes them ripen and then over ripen and rot and go bad. It absorbs it. So when you put your food in there, it 
keeps it from going bad. And you guys saw, like you could even hear in the video, the crunchiness of that lettuce, right? And I had cut that lettuce up like days before, like Sunday, and it was still bright green, crunchy, everything was great. Um, and it'll stay like that all week. Like I just had my last salad today using the salad that was in this bowl and it was still green, crunchy, tasty, not bad, not brown, not wilty, not soft, great, okay? So I'll put a link below because I ordered a whole set. And so when I go get my, because food is not cheap, right? Especially when you're buying fresh food. So um, as soon as I get it and I come home, I get out all of my green containers and then I, put, I transfer everything into my green boxes and it keeps them all week or longer because sometimes I've forgotten about stuff and gone back and they're still there. So, and you can also store baked goods. So it's good for bread, cookies, crackers, anything that's baked or, you know, make flour or whatever. It keeps them from going stale and going bad. So I've even put like my son's cheese crackers in some and things like that because it keeps them fresh. I don't know how it works, but it works. So anyway, that is uh, my update so far. I am going to take pictures tomorrow. Every Monday I have one outfit and I try on that one outfit, the exact same clothing every Monday and take a picture in the morning before I eat or anything to get that picture in the same outfit. So I will be doing that again tomorrow and that'll be my third picture. And so in my next Sunday's update, since I've gained some mo some mo minimum, as my uncle used to say, uh, I will show a picture and show like the dates and have all three pictures in a row to show my progress so far in this journey. So, and I'm pretty pleased. Um, I can tell already, even looking at my face, I can tell that um, things are slimming down. And of course, you know, I wear my, this is my indicator right here. <laughs> I couldn't wear a choker when I started this journey. And then this choker was like up to here. And now as it gets longer and longer, but this makes me happy. I'm like, woo -woo. I think I've lost about around 10, between 10 and 15 pounds. However, I know that I've also gained a lot of muscle because I can tell like the transformation of my body, looking at my legs, they are getting much, much slimmer. I know that I'm losing a lot of fat because inches are leaving. And I know I'm gaining muscle because for one thing, like just, just doing this and like sitting up, I feel my muscles working. And an added benefit of that is, my back is not hurting like it used to. You guys, y'all know, if you've watched any of my videos, the struggle with the back pains, right? But I've been focusing on doing a lot of um, strengthening exercises for my core, back, abs, all of that, which my doctor told me to do years ago. Follow directions, right? When in doubt, follow directions. So I'm looking forward to the coming week. I'm gonna break up my planner and I'm gonna plan the upcoming week and I'm gonna schedule my time and I'm gonna schedule in, get this workout done every day. Stay on track with it like a bear. Meditate, read, or if I don't read, listen to something motivational. Um, I have my prayer time. I have time for gratefulness and also writing down one thing a day that I'm grateful for. And so it really does good to get your mind and to get you in a different mindset and it sets up my expectations. And then once I set my expectations, I tend to follow that, right? I'm following what I'm expecting. I'm following the vision that I'm putting out there that I am fit, I am strong, I am an overcomer, I reach my goals. I don't just set the goals and plan and look at them, I reach them. Okay, so stay tuned because the next video is going to be about the cooked RBS from Amanda Rose's latest cookbook, um, adapting the Eat Like a Bear Ridiculously Big Salad to cooked meals. And I've heard there's some delicious options in there and I'm ready to try them. So you guys will get to see and I will taste test it on, you know, on the video and uh, we'll go from there and also just share that framework. So if any of you who may not be uh, huge salad eaters or can't because of you know digestive issues or whatever um, but you still want to follow the program and get the benefits and the weight loss and the health benefits from it um, then you'll be able to follow along too and I'll share that as well so anyway you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon
Bye-bye.